Now the man who talked to Robin Voss this week, it is Scott Bauer from the Associated Press. Let's start there, talking some marijuana here. What did Voss tell you is his plan moving forward on this? Uh, Speaker Voss said that there are a group of Assembly Republicans who have been working behind the scenes to come up with a plan that he's hopeful will win bipartisan support and be able to be passed sometime this fall. Now he's talked a lot in the past about supporting some form of medical marijuana. There have been bills out there that he's not gotten behind, but this seems to be some movement on his part to say, look, I'm trying to find something that I think can pass both the Senate and the Assembly um, sometime after the budget gets done this summer. I was going to ask you about that. Melissa Agard pointed out that this has been talked about before from him and nothing ever happens, but does it feel like they're actually inching closer on the Republican side to getting something done for medical marijuana? Right. So he's being very secretive about what exactly it is they're looking at. Um, he didn't give any details on what the proposal was. He wouldn't even say who the lawmakers were that were working on it, which raised a lot of red flags among Democrats, um, questioning his sincerity in this whole thing. But he did put the marker down of he wants to have something to vote on this fall. So whether that's something the Senate can agree to, whether it's something the governor would ultimately sign, um, we don't know yet. Uh, the Governor Evers has put forward full legalization in the budget. Um, and there was a medical marijuana bill last year that Democrats did not get behind. So obviously they don't need Democratic votes to pass a bill, but they do need support from the Republican Senate. And those lawmakers have been more hesitant even on medical marijuana than some assembly Republicans have been. I know you were at Melissa Agard's press conference this week as well. She talked about her grassroots tour. Mm -hmm. She wants full legalization. Obviously, Governor Evers pointed that out as well. Did you get the impression, though, that if Democrats could at least get medical marijuana, they would sign off on that? She was asked that and, and, and said, um, you know, that she'd have to see the proposal and again reiterated that she was not behind the last medical marijuana proposal for a variety of reasons. Um, it was very limited and, and a, a number of other things. So I think that that re is remains to be seen whether Democrats would be satisfied with that as a step forward um, for full legalization. And Republicans are very firm, Speaker Voss is, that he does not want to go to full legalization. So anything that he would get behind would be strictly for medical only. We did see some things get done this week in the uh, in the Senate here this week. They did pass off on a reckless driving bill that is going to make things a little bit more difficult if you get convicted of reckless driving. That's something that should pass, right? Governor Tony Evers has indicated he will sign off on this. Yeah, he's indicated support for that, and that got bipartisan support. So it looks like that's headed toward becoming law. Um, they've, there's been some agreement around um, cracking down on these carjacking, reckless driving type bills. have gotten some bipartisan support here early on. So that one's headed to the governor now, and uh, we would expect him to sign it. One that doesn't have bipartisan support is what happened in the assembly. So Republicans pass um, a couple of bills that had to do with gas powered, either engines with cars or other devices, stoves, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. This has become a national debate, right? Where you have Republicans very concerned that there's going to be some sort of fossil fuel mandate or ban in some of these states and that's where we're sitting now in Wisconsin as the debate has reached us. Right so the bill is attempting to proactively say you cannot ban gas powered you name it. Um, so there, there is there is no effort to do that currently. Um, the governor has been pretty clear that he's not going to sign that bill so uh, it got through the assembly whether it may or may not come up in the Senate but it's highly unlikely to become law. And you just mentioned I know in the debate on the floor the Democrats mentioned they've never even tried to ban anything gas related. There really hasn't been a big push has there? From no and the Democrats. argument from the other side is well you know we often we often legislate over things that haven't happened yet so we just want to be out there affirmatively saying that we don't want these bans to, to come into play if they ever would be introduced. Another interesting thing that popped up this week as we're talking about the Joint Finance Committee and the budget hearings, there was a move done where they rejected funding for a large conservation area that's up near Rhinelander. Republicans voted that down. What was their complaint with that whole thing? It's a very complicated process, but basically what it boiled down to is Republicans who objected said that complaints from local communities about taking this land off the tax rolls and, and not having it available for development, they felt like their complaints were not taken into consideration or heard by the State Department of Natural Resources. So one avenue for stopping a project or potentially stopping a project is denying the funding through the, stu the state stewardship program. That's what Republicans did. Um, backers of the project are hopeful they can find money elsewhere to proceed with what they need to do to make that happen. Um, but really it was Republicans voicing their displeasure with the process and with just the way the whole project was handled. And speaking of the Finance Committee, we're on the last listening session. 
haven't gotten a whole lot, but have Republicans at least hinted as to what they're going to put in this bill when they're done with these listening sessions? For the yeah, budget? yeah. So we're moving into the period now where the Joint Finance Committee will start taking votes and start shaping the budget publicly. A lot of what's been going on now has been behind the scenes and private talks among lawmakers. There hasn't been a lot of affirmative talk of here's X, Y, and Z of what's going to be in the budget, but they've been pretty clear from the beginning of what their priorities are, and that includes you know a tax cut. Um, it in includes a lot of other um, measures like that. Uh, more money for schools, probably not as much as the governor wants. They'll probably expand the school choice program, but the details of what exactly they're going to do, that's what we're all waiting on. Um, and we'll start to see that probably here in May, I would think. Yeah, that debate will rage on and we'll talk about it again, I'm sure at that point with Scott Bauer. Thanks so much for the time this week. You bet.